Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of the tools and the systems we are going to use in And of course, the first one is Canvas. So, well, when you go to Canvas, and the first thing you're going to see is the dashboard. So for the dashboard, and well, you may see different courses because I have really taught a lot of the courses and I have more courses than you guys probably uh, and uh, if you click on this one, so CSD 131.808 and I'm using the Python icon here to make it more visible and then you will see there are, oh there is only one module so this module is week 1 and in week 1 you're gonna see the course schedule, the syllabus and here, this is a hyperlink to the playlist so uh, follow this hyperlink to a YouTube playlist and then make sure you bookmark this playlist okay so I'm gonna post new videos every uh, Monday and Wednesday and the next thing is the uh, the course lecture note for today and there will, there will also be an exercise for today and then the submission submission locker for today's exercise so you will definitely see more stuff in this web page later in this semester so the next thing is uh, CS Circle so for CS Circle you have to register for your account first and after you register uh, you should go here add in my profile and then here this is a place you want to specify your guru's name and your guru guru's name should be should be y song 8 okay that is my account and you need to specify me to be your guru okay and the next thing a uh, flipgrid so i have already logged into flipgrid and you should also create your flipgrid account using your uncw email okay and after uh, when you create your account, you can specify the drawing code. So drawing code song 131F20 and it will bring you to my class. Okay, and when you are in this class and you can see there are two topics. So for example, week one, say hello to class. If you click on this one and you can see this is a description on what is the of what you need to do in this task like say a uh, recorded video say hello give some information about yourself and share share some fun fact about yourself and tell us a joke okay so there's nothing really uh really uh serious about uh programming in this activity i just want to you guys to show your faces and tell something about uh, about yourself because this is what we are going to do in day one anyhow right so even though we are doing this online class and well i'm still trying to build a community and we can still talk uh, see each other's face talk to each other reply to each other so well and eventually if you guys have any question you want to discuss with your peers and this is also the place you can have the discussion okay so if you want to make a video and post it and what you can do is you can do actions and then there's a green button record a response okay so this is how you can record your response if you're using the web page version of the Flipgrid and if you want to have a Flipgrid on, installed on your cell phone and then well there's also a phone app okay so this is a Flipgrid on the uh, on a Google App Store okay so if you want to install the Flipgrid on your cell phone go ahead and do so and the next thing well remember we are doing Python so if you don't have Python installed yet and uh, you should download Python and if you have an old version of Python go ahead and install the old version of the Python first okay uh, if you go to the python.org and then downloads and then this is the most recent version of Python so go ahead and click this download and download this Python and the next thing you need to install Python to install Python there's really nothing tricky you just specify where uh, the, uh, the folder it should be and then it will install for you and the next thing PyCharm. So Python is the programming language, but 
we need to use a user-friendly uh, editor okay so PyCharm is the editor I'm recommending so PyCharm is a comfortable uh, uh, IDE or development environment which can help us write Python code can you use other tools and I would say fine but PyCharm is really the one that I have been using for a long time uh, well and if you uh, Google search PyCharm download and probably you will find this page and on this page depending on on your operating system uh, Windows Mac or Linux and then well you have to download PyCharm and remember we are downloading the community edition that is a free edition and well well you don't have professional support but it doesn't matter this is the free version and you can do almost uh, almost anything using the uh, the community edition and I have been using it for a long time so go ahead click this download and then also uh, install PyCharm to your local machine and as, again well there's nothing fancy you just specify uh, the path you want to you want it to be installed and then well you will have Python installed and then PyCharm installed okay so i'm gonna stop this video here and go ahead and try those tools and visit a uh, visit uh, canvas cs circle flipgrid and then download python and pycharm okay so i'm gonna stop stop video here and the next video i'm gonna show you how to use pycharm